Good morning everybody. Day three. It's not day two, it's, it's kind of proper day two, but it's day three really because I obviously got straight off my So I've just got back from having my breakfast. I've sorted myself out like a rough idea of what I'm doing today and tomorrow and possibly Tuesday. So like, like I said on these trips, when I come on these little holidays, I tend to just come with no real plans, just like a vague outline of where I want to be and what's going down. So here is my plans for today. Um, I've been looking online this morning. It looks like Spoon and Type 1 are shut today, but Seeker and Fields are all open. So I was going to go down there, then I was going to head up to here. Um, I can't actually remember what that was. So I've got like a whole like selection of garages to go on, and it ranges from Hondas to... BMWs and drift cars and stuff. The BMW one's tomorrow, but um, there's a whole load of stuff I want to do around here and see and just generally have a rad day. Um, so it's about, it's actually like about three hours of driving if I turn tolls back on. I don't mind paying for the tolls. Um, so like three hours and 15 minutes of driving for today's trip. And that is then obviously going to probably be added up by traffic and stuff. I'm going to come back here, um, have some dinner because I've seen a few restaurants around here that I'd like to try. And then I'm going to head out in the car t this evening, hopefully not be too tired, and actually go out and just hit up a couple of the car parks and just see if anybody's there. So tomorrow I'm heading down to Yokohama. I'm going to try and buy myself a gear on for the S15. I'm um, going to just see if I can get one from Vertex. I want, I want to visit. I don't know if you're actually allowed or not. And there's a few other shops I'm visiting tomorrow. And just kind of going out on a, on a wing and just seeing what happens more than anything. I'm going to stop at some random places if I can. Like if I just see some rad stuff, I'll just pull over. Um, I'm going to get my stuff ready and then head out. And um, I'm just checking all my memory cards and stuff like that, so I don't have um, too much on them or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm super tired, man. I'm I'm so annoyed that I can't seem to get on the my body clock on this clock here. I mean, I slept like a few uh, a decent amount of hours last night, but I just woke up so early again, and uh, no one really open, so you can't just go and jump straight into your day. I, I went out, I got Starbucks this morning, and then um, I thought wait around for another hour before I can really do anything. That, that makes me tired. So I'm gonna um, catch my breath, see what I'm doing, sort my cameras out, pack my bag because I've you know I've got my new bag. I bought my new bag yesterday, <laughs> and um, then go out and see what to do, what I'm doing today. So yeah, right, let's get started. Right, dudes, I'm not gonna lie, I'm back on the G7X in the car because I just think the GoPro looks turd. So just gonna have to put up a little bit of vibrations for now until I sort that out. Bought this from the. Let me get that in focus. Get out of my face. Got that from the uh, vending machine. So I'm gonna try it, aloe vera and white grape. Could be interesting, could be gross. Let's give it a go. No, it's perfect. It's exactly what I have back home. Oh. <laughs> so good. Right, so I'm gonna head up. It's only 15 minutes from what it says on my, my sat nav, which is a problem because I'm gonna get there way too early, but give me time to find somewhere to park. I'm gonna, I think if you start, oh, Maybe I should go there last. I don't know. What do you reckon? Uh, we'll go have a look. The only problem with me using the G7X as my handy cam on the screen means I might not be able to get it off in time if there's cars. I uh, see. So I'll do my best for you dudes. Um, I've obviously got the GoPro I can put on for emergencies. Maybe I'll switch it over now. We'll see. Anyway, I'm driving through Shinjuku. Off up there. Should be there before well, about quarter past ten. So it uh, should be all right. We'll see. We'll see where it actually takes me because I can't remember what number I've put in to go to. But it should be cool anyway. Right, we're back on the GoPro. So I thought I'd just update you where I'm at with this evening as well. I spoke with my friend Mo, and he has said, "Do we want to go out and have dinner in Shinjuku?" And I said, "Yes, for sure," because he can speak Japanese, and that certainly does help when you're ordering food. Um, so I'm gonna hopefully meet up with him later on, about half eight-ish this evening. So I'm gonna try and get back to my hotel. We'll see when, whenever. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself long out today. Oh guys, so I've made it. My first stop today is Fields Honda Twin Cam. They're a tuning company. They also make some pretty rad parts. I had their uh, manifold on my EG. So uh, I'm gonna check out the cars they've got in here. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, they've got their FD2 and their Jazz. So let's check these out.
looks so aggressive. It's wide in front arch, there's a big chunky wheels on it. They've obviously got K, it's, like, it's a variant of the K series, obviously it might be K24, but it's definitely a K series swap in there. There's loads of room. What space is in the bay? Next to the two race cars, we've got a black DC2. I think this might be a customer's car, but it's got a red Recaro in it. Looks awesome. Real, real nice. Mm. These hoses are good enough for a race car. Maybe they'll be alright on the Nissan. I love these little touches, like the carbon stuff filled in there, because they obviously use latches on the bonnet. So nice. Massive wide front wings. So cool. Right, I always love to stop swinging here. Last time I re really, really got treated really nicely by these guys, and once again, they've let me have a look around the cars. I had to treat myself to a little sticker. It tells you all about like, how the VTEC works and stuff, so I wanna put that in the EG somewhere once that's finished. Now, I'm gonna head up to the next garage, which is Seeker, so let's go find that. I just parked up the road from Fields. That's the space I parked in. I just noticed the other side is EF. The Mugen front bumper on it. Nice wheels, they look like Enkies to me. Yeah, super rad, matte black. Sick, right, let's go. Last time I was here, I super overspent on parts and stuff. Like I bought almost one of everything I could see, just because I got all over excited. So this time I'm here, I just want to pick up like a sticker from each shop, just for my little collection that I've got going on back home. And like this one, I'd actually quite like to put on the EG, because I think it's, it's just rad. Like. I just think it's super sick. Don't go copying these though, like if you want one, support the people that make them. So uh, yeah, feels. Love that. Actually a link in the description to all of the places I go, like the addresses. So if you guys are coming over for a trip, you can uh, know where to come if you want to come and see what I've seen. So I love their race cars. They're always so immaculate and just beautiful. Right, seeker time. Right guys, I've now made it down to Sika, as you can see, and uh, you have to forgive me. Are you okay? No, you have to forgive me if I'm a little bit excited on some of the cars here, because I've never actually seen a couple of these in real life. I say a couple, one specific model, and it's these, the S660. So these are like the Honda K car that's been released recently, and it looks like Sika have like got their hands on them already and uh, got stuck in. Check out that triple exhaust, like the new Type R's. I parked really bad as well, so I hope I don't get clipped. I've got over here the little red one. A little white one with a red bumper. And uh, then obviously we've got DC2 just here, spoilers, but it's got C28, Project Mew, brakes, raised lug nuts, Momo steering wheel. Oh my God, there's a lorry coming. Please don't clip the car. So I was parked just there, probably shouldn't have, but whatever, we're not gonna be long. So uh, yeah, got the DC2 over here. It looks pristine as well. There's not a scratch on it. Black Recaros, that is so nice. Obviously, this is rad. Like, look at how cool this is. That is so sick. So yeah, we've got the S660 there, EK9 here, which has got these wheel arch protectors on. I've never seen those before. Got the uh, T37s on there, facelift. These are so, I love EK9s. Got some dials in there as well. Just here. Then, we've got the orange Jazz. Now, I did see this last time. I'm fairly positive this was here last time I was here. Along with the FD2 in there, orange. Oh, it's just magnificent. Massive T37s on it. And I wonder in this light, you can see like the green fleck in the paint, and then a blue S660 on the Volk wheels. It's mini C28s. I love that. Absolutely amazing. That looks so cool. So yeah, I love coming down to Seeker. I need to pop in and just grab myself a sticker. Looks amazing. So cool. Rad garage. I will also once again leave their address for you guys to see. And this one looks like, and yeah it has. It's got a carbon roof look. Oh, it's actually peeling unfortunately, but yeah. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. 
Look at how cool these cars are, man. I've literally never seen one of these before. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. Do they all have triple exhaust on them? Oh, they do. They all have triple exhaust. I never didn't notice that. So Seeker has a little store. I'm gonna quickly wander in and grab a decal and then be on my merry way. I did say I was gonna buy a decal. They had t-shirts for sale. Thought I'd get myself a t-shirt, it looked sick. So one last little quick like goodbye to the cars. EK9s are so beautiful. Yeah, brilliant. Right, and now I have to look at where I wanna go, go check out next. This is so rad, I love their steering wheel as well. So cool. Right, I'm so annoyed. The garage back there, there's an NSX Type R. Just parked, and I can't, I, I was gonna just swing around, but I can't see anywhere that I can, can do it. Right, I'm going back, and I'm praying it's there still. I do need fuel anyway, so we'll just see. Do, are we gonna get lucky or not? It looked amazing, it looked like a Type R. Worst case, it's still an NSX. I now have to work out how to use this. Oh my goodness me. All right, annoyingly and embarrassingly, I couldn't work out how to use that machine. It wouldn't accept my card for some reason. Well, I tried two different cards and it just said, won't, it cannot recognize the card. I might put it in upside down, but I was using my best on the app just to try and work out the changes, but it's really, really hard. So I'm gonna wait and just watch this NSX come out. <laughs> I've still got like a quarter of a tank, so it's not the end of the world. I think I'm just gonna find a garage that um, have the guys working that fill it up for you, because I I could could not work out how to do it. So one of those things, I guess. Never mind. Anyway, I'm still an NSX Type R about to come through this car wash. I can't believe he's taking through a normal car wash, but I'm gonna film it anyway. I don't know. You know, we'll just see. I'm sat bang opposite, so. Uh, Alright dudes, I'm sorry but I had to move because it was like I'd parked in the bit where the guys getting their car washed go and finish up washing their cars. I have to go unfortunately, but there you go, see an NSX type R, pretty rad, pretty rad. Anyway, on to where uh, my next stop and, oh my god, my door's open. <laughs> and uh, we'll find the next place and uh, we'll just go from there, that was pretty cool though. Just stopped at a family mart up here to come back and check these cars I just drove past. I don't want to piss anyone off, but uh, there's a Levin. GTR. And the PS13. Is that all carbon wrapped? <laughs> oh, GTR is sick. Nice. And then there's that little thing. <laughs> right, dude, it's quick lunch time. I'm trying to show you what I got from Family Mart today. So I saw Toby eat these the other day and I thought I'd try it. So I braved it and got them to heat it up for me. I always got a bit of chicken. That doesn't feel like as hot as the burger, so I'm going to eat... eat that first. It's getting quite. It's the annoying thing is it's warm in the car, but it's quite chilly outside. And then I also got a bag of crisps. Crisps are so big here. Look at that. That's my head. But, um,. They've got like some herbs and stuff on, so I'll try those. And just a bottle of water. So yeah, sweet.
Okay, so rather frustratingly, I've just driven out for like 40 kilometers ish um, to get some videos of a, like a Honda garage that I'd never been to before. I'd never spoken to my dad, hadn't emailed them to say I'm coming, can I take some videos? We got there and they basically just said, no, please don't. So, um, I, I, you know, I'm not going to try and wind people up or anything. So uh, I did try, but I've just pulled up in this car park to turn around. And this is it. Super cool Laurel. So uh, all is not lost, I guess. Pretty cool to see at least one cool car up this way. Now my next job is to find fuel because I'm running really low. So, uh, sorry dudes, I am trying to get as much uh, Honda stuff in the videos as possible, but sometimes it's just not possible, but never mind. Okay, so thankfully a super nice guy here helped me fill the car up, so I now have fuel. And I just wanted to check out this before I go, because look at this. Absolutely, almost original, I think, like up in that rear wing. But look at the fog lights down there. <laughs> Massive light, it looks like a GTR 33 wing. Love that though, <laughs> sick. Okay, so now I have fuel, I'm gonna head up to my next garage about 20 minutes away, so wish me luck on this one. quickly stopped down at Yashio factory. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. That's how it said there, Yashio factory. Um, they make some really nice parts for F15s and they also run a few drift cars. So I just thought I'd pop down and see what's about. They're absolutely wild colors, so nice. I'm not gonna lie, I did just ask to see if they had any of the lights in stock because I was gonna buy myself a set, but they don't at the moment, which is, which is a bit frustrating just for me. Um, but obviously I'll order them when, uh, when I know I can get them again. They've got some really nice cars down here and obviously they're all drift cars, all looking absolutely mental. I love the colour of this, the yellow on yellow. This is like, I'm sure my friends, if they're watching this, are uh, thinking, yep, that's a bit of me, for sure. Bright yellow on bright yellow, I love that. And then blue is super nice as well on the, on the, work, the work wheels and this body kit on this is mad. Bright pink. And then obviously they've got their competition car inside as well, or another one of their competition cars inside. But um, yeah, really, really nice guys down here. Um, obviously they make some really cool parts too, so it was nice to stop by and check it out. They've got PS13 at the back there as well by the looks of it. I don't want to walk in because I don't want to be rude. It is their place of work. But um, yeah, tucked up the back there. Ooh, nice. Well, that was a good end to the day. I've got my cool pink bag with a few stickers. Stoked. They're gonna go straight on the S15. Had a nap. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed sleep. Um, and now I'm gonna go off, shoot shoot off, meet Mo, get some dinner. I've got the address on my phone. Hopefully I don't get lost. <laughs> I'm looking forward to eating some proper Japanese food. It should be cool. What I've learned about Japan is it really comes alive at night. All the lights, so many people stay up late. And the shops don't really shut until late either. So uh, I'm gonna try and catch 
just some of that on my way, but obviously I'll be careful driving with the camera and stuff, but um, yeah, this, is, this place is sick. So that's your car, right? Ryo, yeah? That's my car. So I'm here with Ryo, him over here, and that's his car. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. We're in like this rad restaurant that you sit down at. <laughs> okay, so I'm with Mike. You've seen him before in my videos, and Ryo over here. Um, we're about to have some Japanese food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What's this place called? Uh, Torinaka. Torinaka, okay, cool. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to put the beef in the garlic and soy soy sauce. Oh my god, it's delicious. Yeah? <laughs> oh, that is amazing. So that was, that was where we just ate. It was super cool. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Nice one, that was sick. Well that was awesome, I love trying that. That was, the food was actually delicious as well. And it was cool to sit on one of them old school tables. They said that was like the old style before they put the flat bit in that everybody has to sit at. So that was sick. Yo dude, so I've just got back to my hotel. I decided to call it a night. I am so tired. Um, even though I did have that nap, so I feel better than I normally do, but um, I've got a massively busy day tomorrow as well. I'm heading out to Yokohama tomorrow, checking out a few shops down there, and um, it should be pretty sweet. So uh, I'll catch you then. Um, have a good rest of whatever you're doing today, and I'll see you next time.